Hey y'all, so I just wanted to come at you really quick with an <laughs> empties video. Uh, I have lots of empties, so yeah, we're just going to get started and I'm going to toss kind of them into this other trash box, so to speak. So, yeah, should be exciting. Never done one of these. So the first thing I have is an empty thing of these, um, oh god. What are these called? Now I can't remember. Like five layer cotton pads. They're Asian. I believe they're Korean. Oh, they're the Selena cotton pads. Uh, they're pretty good, especially if you want to do your own toner masks, things of that nature. I probably won't repurchase these because I actually really prefer the Suzerain ones just because I generally don't do toner masks and things of that nature. Uh, so I just, I prefer the one layer, like the one thing, layered thing whatever so yeah I did like them they're not bad about three bucks three to five dollars maybe on Sasa I think it's like three dollars so so the next thing I have is a candle this is in the color in the in the color in the set beach cabana I got it from Bath and Body Works um, y'all may not know it just because the way the background is set up here but I'm actually a huge huge candle junkie I I just, I love candles. <laughs> okay, so, yep. And then another candle. You're just going to see a lot of candles with me. Um, this is Lemon Verbana or Verbena, depending on how you pronounce it, where you're from. I really liked this smell. Uh, some people might think it's a little too, like, pine solly, but I really like um, kind of like fresh, clean scents. So I liked this a lot. It lasted about maybe a week. So then I have this is uh, the collagen intensive. It's actually the um, moisturizer I basically had been using for the last five years. And then when my skin went through its massive freak out this last year, I ran through it so fast. And this is not inexpensive stuff. It's it's pretty costly, but um, Basically, I had been getting away with not really paying anything for it because I my mom has a bunch of these, so I stole them from her, and so, yeah. <laughs> I was like, it is good. Um, so, at the same time, I was like, when I was on my hunt for, like, really good skincare, I had read some reviews about this Garnier, uh, Garnier Moisture uh, Refreshing Gel Cream. Uh, I really like it that it's a gel cream. I got the dry skin version. It is way too perfumey for my taste, personally. I mean, I'm just being honest with y'all. I don't want to lie. It does do a decent job, but it's not the best moisturizer I've ever used. But for the, like, four or five bucks, if you need something, yeah, that's a good one to try. Um, the next thing is, this is actually probably my favorite perfume of all time. I need to buy another one. This is by Cotty. It's Wild Musk. It's, like... 10 11 dollars it's not very expensive but i just i love the smell on me and it's i even the expensive stuff it just i just like the way the smells better so <laughs> you'll know so and here's another little lemon verbena one so you'll see lots of candles in here just be prepared um this one is a black sands i would say this is more of a masculine scent i do sometimes like masculine scents and candles it's just it's really nice so it reminds me like of the like if I had a house that was fancy and I had like an entire room. My dream is to one day have an entire room that's like a library, like old school looking library, like dark wood, dark paneling, like the like dark leather and like kind of red velvet touches and then just yeah, beautiful. Uh, I would want something like this burning in it. So uh, you know, like cigar smoke kind of like not really cigar smoke, but very masculine. And then this one is hibiscus, Hawaiian hibiscus from Bath and Body Works. Um, all these are from Bath and Body Works um, because I bought them when they were having their semi-annual sale. Uh, I basically stock up on my candles and stuff when they do that just because it's financially uh, most advantageous to me. So um, I buy a lot of candles at that time. So And I do like their candles, but they do not burn all the way to the bottom, which is sort of a... I don't, I don't like that. It's just a weird personal thing. So the next thing I have is I actually used up a powder product, which is like a miracle of God, um, because it takes so long to use a powder product. You know that. Um, so in fact, 
I'm going to try and not buy so many powder products because I have too many and I'll never run out for like the next 10 years basically. So this is from Sephora. It's the old Sephora packaging, like way old, old. Um, it's R30 Beige Rose Rosé slash Cool Beige. Uh, I really like it. I have a new one, then they recolor match me and I'm warm now. I don't know. I'm neutral toned, so I just wear whatever the heck I want. Uh, this is an e.l.f. A BB cream with SPF 20. Um... It's a pretty good BB cream. I don't know if I'll repurchase it just because I have so many samples to go through from Mimi Box. Um, but for the money, it's pretty decent. It's definitely more of a tinted moisturizer-esque BB cream. So it's an American BB cream, which means there's no additional properties, no anti-aging, anti-wrinkle, uh, whitening, brightening. It's just basically a little bit more coverage than a tinted moisturizer. So pretty good. Uh, the next thing I like elf you'll notice this I have the elf daily brush cleaner really liked it would buy it again but I have other stuff I got samples of so I'm using it um, the next thing I have is a from Mimi box this is B O H this is a um, ampule and it, actually there's another one in here somewhere we'll have to dig through and find it but um, it came as a two set, and this is the Moist Youth Ampule Essence. This was only supposed to last, like, I think, like, three to seven days. And I will tell you, this lasted me, like, two or three months. But I really liked it, and I thought it was very good for winter. So, use it. Um, so another e.l.f., this is the Makeup Mist and Set. I did like this. Uh, it's very good to, like, help keep your makeup stay on all day. Um, and it kind of... I don't know, I would say this is more of a refreshing type mist, so for like three bucks, it's really good. Um, I have some other uh, setting sprays and stuff I'm trying at this moment that, again, I got some samples, so probably not buying this right away, but I will eventually when ELF, the website, has a sale again. Um, this is some uh, a sample. You'll see a lot of deluxe size samples, because especially when I travel, I'm just trying to keep those. Um, and there is a little left in it, but I'm going to be honest, this um, Mario Bitescu, uh Enzyme Cleansing Gel, it's for all skin types. My skin really didn't like this. When I was traveling and I would use this, I don't know, my skin would like freak out and start breaking out. It was bad, and my skin is not sensitive, so I don't know what was up with that. Um, this is probably, this is the last of my favorite um, botanical herbal mist with aloe vera and vitamins. Um... I guess I'll just tell you a little story. I told you I was an esthetician. A long time ago, I had my own skincare line. Um, and so this is sort of the last of the, of the, basically I had face sprays before face sprays became popular. And so this was the last of my um, face sprays that I had left in stock. So that's all gone. I'm shedding a little tear. So um, anyways, so this was a lip mask I used. I exfoliated my lips and then I put this on and I really like it. So I have nothing bad to say about that. And I did get this from a Mimi box. Uh, the next thing is I had got a, I had like heard people talk about the beauty blender. Um, so I was like, okay. And I heard people say they got like pretty decent dupes, dupes off eBay for like $89.99 dollar, whatever. So this was one of those, it's way too hard, way too firm for my personal taste. I did not like it. I went and I was able to get my hands on the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge and oh my god, I love that. I will never, I'll, I'll pay the $5, $6 every time and use that one instead. So this is from a Bath & Body Works. Um, this is the Japanese Cherry Blossom Triple Moisture Shower Cream. I have already repurchased this. I really like this for winter when my skin is super duper dry all over uh, because it's very moisturizing in the shower and then my skin is just a little less itchy after I get out. So, always a plus. You just keep hearing lots of stuff banging. Um, so this is from e.l.f. This is their brush shampoo. Uh, I liked it. I thought it was good. I don't know that it was anything super special. It got my brushes clean. Um, but I have switched over to that, I don't remember, Doc Brommer's uh, soap that you can buy at the Hippie Tree Hugger store, at least my Hippie Tree Hugger store, which I love to shop at, um, called Breadroot uh, here in Rapid. And... Uh, 
So I, I really actually prefer to use that, and it comes in all different scents, and in, a little goes a long way. It just seems to get a little cleaner than this is, but this is a good brush cleaner. If you need something, this is like three bucks. Give it a shot. Um, the next thing I have is a um, translucent powder in a natural, it's a natural satin glow. It's number 12 medium. Um, along with that skincare line, I actually had a couple of um, makeup products as well. And this was one of them. It's, it's, it is probably, it is, was, and probably will always be my favorite um, setting powder, but it's just getting too old and it needs to go. So I'm sort of, I'm sad about that. Um, I'm also sad about this because I really loved this red serum by Skin and Lab. It's a Korean brand. You can get it on both Wish Trend and Mimi Box. I really liked it. It was very moisturizing for my face. And then I was about, I was almost all the way through and trying to suck out the last little bits and I broke it. So, you know, it happens. Um, this is a deluxe sample size or travel size or whatever of the Too Faced. Better than sex mascara. It is good. I e, I like a lot of mascaras when I open them, but after several weeks, I tend to really not like them because into the Too Faced, I just, ugh. It smudged on me. Like most mascaras, I just have a really hard time with them not like smudging and budging and stuff by the end of the day. And yes, I am an eye rubber. I realize that's bad, but um, I'm 30 years old. I'm not going to change now. <laughs> Probably. So, I mean, I just, eh. And I just, it, it made my eyelashes feel a little crusty. They do look amazing when you wear it. It is bomb diggity mascara. It looks amazing. My niece, my, uh, my niece and my sister, uh, my friends, um, all love the Better Than Sex mascara. And so they're like, you know, for them, it's like their huge treat to buy it. So I just... I like it, but I'm not sold on it, I guess, you know, so I don't know. Um, the next thing I got is this Avon, it's this Avon Glimmer Stick Diamonds in the color Black Ice uh, for years. I, this is what I used, it's kind of at the point, it's um, it lasted a long time, um, but it kind of needs to go. So, this is the next thing. I've, again, this was from my own makeup line. I don't know why I'm showing you this, um, but it's all kind of gone. I don't know if you can see in the tubes or not. They're all gone. Um, but I really loved these because these were what I what are called basically studio bases, and so I could essentially mix colored foundations for any skin type and match it. But these are also color correcting, and so freaking amazing is the only word to describe these and of course because I don't do this anymore I have no way to get my hands on anymore and that seriously makes me sad I know they have color correcting foundations but I don't really like the ones I've tried thus far so yeah I'll find something eventually this is from Miranese uh it's the glossy kiss um it's like their chubby stick Miranese Miranesi, Miranesi, I'm not sure how you say it, it's Australian brand, um, yeah, it's all gone, um, <laughs> that's why it's gone, it's, uh, it's an okay product, uh, I, I liked it, it was alright, so I was okay when it broke, it wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna cry, um, this is the e.l.f. Uh, lip exfoliator, uh, again, I liked it when I really first got it and because the outside is really a lot of shea butter and a little bit of brown sugar. And But as you go through that tube, it gets to be more brown sugar than shea butter. And so I just prefer to mix my own lip exfoliant anymore. And I just basically, all I do to make mine, I know there's tons of recipes out there, but it's so easy. All I do is take a teeny tiny like those, you can buy 10 for a dollar at the Dollar Tree or dollar store of those little containers and I take either grapeseed oil or olive oil and I put it in the container just a little bit and then I put in some brown sugar and mix it together and then that's my lip exfoliator and I'm done and I find it works really well for me so 
Uh, this is a perfume tester. It's Endless Euphoria by Calvin Klein. I do actually really, really like this. This is probably the first high-end perfume I've liked in quite a while, and I actually have like the small version of it. Um, this is the eye slash eyebrow pencil in the color I don't sapphire from NYX. Um, it's still full, but this bad boy tugged on my eye, so that's a no-go. I don't want, I don't want or choose not to use uh, products that are going to tug on my eyelids, and my eyelids are already what I consider sort of creepy. I mean, they're not really that bad, but you know, it's it's such a sensitive area that I really have to tug to get color, and it kind of it was a little painful. I don't like that, so I was like, for like the four or five dollars I pay for it, I'm just throwing it away. Um, the same thing can be said for this 928 Velvet, and let me know if y'all have had the same problem, or like, I may just have ultra dry eyelids, I don't know. But for me, it just wasn't worth it, you know, dealing with it. So this is an exfoliating foot mask I got from Mimi Box. I loved this! Even though it was kind of gross and weird, because your feet were peeling like the next few days, but I'm sort of weird like that, and I'm like, awesome, you know? So I love that. Um, oh, you don't need to see this. This was a conference I was at. <laughs> I was like, no one needs to see that. This is Vita Liberata, a uh, phenomenal two to three week tan mousse. Love, love, love this. In fact, have two or three more samples I got from Sephora. Uh, you know, when you put your coupon code in. Holy macaroni. Cannot express the love I have for this. It is probably my favorite. Um, sunless tanner. Um, I have a bunch of others I'm kind of trying to go through and use up and I have that I like too. Like I like, I also like, you know, I like the mousse because to me it's just easy application, but I do also like the Tarte Brazilians, um, Sunless Tanner. And then this is a lip stain. I think this is to Tony Moly. I got this from like my first Mimi box. I really liked it actually and it stained all day, so I enjoyed that. And I have the hiccups too. Um, this is a Stila lip glaze. I actually go through the lip glazes, particularly like the clearer, sheerer ones. Best, like two, three months. I keep them in my purse, they're gone. Because I, I oftentimes don't wear a lip stick. Or when I do, I still like to put it on there. And what I, I just, I will have like lip balm and then I'll put that on there and it really seals in the moisture. I like that a lot, so I like it. And this was the color for seven, so this was actually a colored, colored one, but, yep. Yeah. This is just a little sample I had of the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua uh, foundation. I thought it was pretty good. I don't know. It, it is good. I don't know if it's worth the money, though. Um, so, I would want to see the ingredients. Here's the mini tanning mitt I got with that Vita Liberata. <laughs> I don't know why that's included in there. Um, this is IOPay's Bio Essence. We got this in a Mimi box. I know Mimi box did an IOPay box recently. Um, so this is the Bio Essence Intensive Conditioning uh, Essence. I don't know why it says that. Um, but it was really good. It was only supposed to be a three-day sample. I think it lasted me like seven to fourteen days. So lasts a long time. Um, then I have another candle in the lemon verbena, which you can tell. I liked the scent. It's very like clean. So like if you like, you know, like after you wash your kitchen floors and like scrub them with a pine saw, not like the, not the chemically part of the pine saw, but the lemony part of the pine saw smells like more lemony. Um, this is just a buffer I had that I used and is dead. So this is that other BOH. Um, this is the Radiant Youth Ampule Essence. I really liked it as well. I used those two in conjunction. This also is probably, this was my favorite concealer because it was my brand. I'm not even gonna lie. There's no shame. Um, but it's all basically dried out. But the reason I liked it is a lot of the other color correcting concealers I've tried are not thick. Look at the coverage on this. I mean, it goes far. So I just... Yeah, I, I really wish I could find something that was comparable because I've tried NYX and a couple of other brands and even some of the higher end. Mm, I'm not impressed. So this is hand skin. I have two of these. I got them in Mimi boxes a couple of times. It is the Bio Origin Royal um, Ampule. It's a BB 
ampule, a BB skin, BB cream, ampule kind of, BB ampule, I don't know. It's not really a cream because it's an ampule, but um, it's very liquidy. I really liked this. It gave a decent coverage, but I don't really like heavy coverage stuff, so it's like light to medium or sheer to medium, I suppose. Um, I really liked it, though. It gave just the right amount, and it would probably go with many shades as long as you were in the... Uh, fair to medium range, any darker, you know, you're going to have to mix it with foundation, but it's got good skincare ingredients. I really liked these, uh, and they went fast. I wish they would give us a full-size uh, bottle at some point, to be honest, but I will say my other issue with these is that I wouldn't, I would hesitate to buy these because they dry out fast. Like, it starts out real liquidy, but then it just gets really thick. Like, I don't know, after a week or two, and I don't, I don't know what's up with that. So this is from Mary Kay. As you'll see, I go through lots of different skincare to try. This is the Time Wise Night Solution. Um, basically, it's their serum. Uh, I really liked it. Not a bad serum. So, and I'm probably gonna keep the bottle just because it's a pump and these are nice to have sometimes when you want to. Although, no, I really wanna buy the like, you can buy a set of air pumps from Sephora that are empty and you can put stuff in them. It would be nice to have stuff like that so this is that doc Brommer's magic soap I was telling you about that I like to use for my brushes I also like to use this on myself and it comes in all different scents but eucalyptus is my favorite because I have a lot of like allergies well I don't have a lot of allergies but I have like seasonal allergies and stuff and I just I really love the eucalyptus scent to really clear out the sinuses and it's got a natural antibacterial um, aspect to it so I'm down with that and these are some travel samples that I basically used when I was traveling this is the skin and lab uh, plus a plus lifting e plus moisturizing and then this is the it's potent benefit eye cream uh, it's really thick I don't know if it's potent and eh. Not sold on it. I do have a deluxe sample size, but I haven't used it yet. This was my saving grace in winter time, really. And just to let you know, it costs, you get two two bottles for $9 at Sam's Club. Yeah. I bought vitamin E skin oil. Um, now, this vitamin E also has lemon oil in it. And if you really do your research, you'll know you really need to have some uh, lemon or citrus or some sort of citrus oil because of the vitamin C factor um, to go with the vitamin E oil um, in order for it to be effective. But this I found to be very effective and good for my skin. And it really helped me with my um, just issues with the dry patchiness. It just, it helps. Oh my God, it was amazing. So this is an Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Multi-Action Foam Cleanser. It was okay. I would not buy a full size. It made my skin feel really dry when I was done using it. So I don't, I don't like cleansers that strip my skin, you know. And it's a personal thing. It may not strip your skin, but it sure did mine. So um, this is the Equate Walmart brand uh, regenerating daily cream cleanser. It says compared to Olay Regenerist regenerating cream cleanser. It's supposed to be a daily cleanser, but it's got an exfoliant in it. So I don't know. I used it daily, but boy, does it strip your skin, too. Um, so I would say beware of that. This is the e.l.f. Um, I don't know what it's called. I Refresh. It's the little thing with the rolly ball. Oh, my God. I loved this. I will repurchase this eventually, but the thing is I have so many eye creams and things to get through that it's just not worth it. So this is something I absolutely hated. NYX. I love the NYX brand. I love a lot of their products. I hate this butter. Uh, lip balm and I hear people talk about the butter lipsticks. Oh, it smells so good And I was like, oh, I want to get it in red because I like red and I was like, okay, it's tinted It's the driest freaking lip balm. It leaves my lips so dry oh, I hated it. I just I Hated it. I can't I can't express my dislike of an aggravation of that product enough so this was the Pure Derm. Pure Derm. I bought this on Mimi Box. Um, you get a set of 50. I have another thing of 25. I'm currently going through and almost out of. And it came with an additional like 
under eye mask set. Some under eye mask. It's the collagen mask. It's good for all skin types. It's enriched with collagen, vitamin E, green tea extract, and papaya. Um, I keep these in the fridge. I love them. There were 25 masks. I used them all. That lets you know about my sheet mask obsession. So that is all for my empties. I'm emptied out. I'm very excited to be emptied out, to be honest, because I had a lot of stuff. It was really bad. <laughs> so I'm ready for it to go in the trash, basically. Anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed that. Please do me a huge favor. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. And I will talk to you all later. All right? Bye-bye.